Jeff at Stone Custom Fabrication in Fresno, California. We're going to be installing this touch and go starter system from Phantom Products in this 1955 Chevy. I'm going to put it in this center console that I built a few weeks ago. So, what we're doing is we're installing this touch and go starter system in the car. We're getting rid of this keyed ignition switch and we're installing a few other components headlight switch, uh, airbag controller, and this AC unit. Now I've already started, I soldered some wires together, um, kind of, I ran some wires, I have my instructions here, so now I just got to follow, follow the instructions, get rid of this old key ignition switch, now I got to disconnect these wires and solder in the new, the new harness that connects to a touch and go box. Yeah, I've got my wire cutters, my wire strippers, I'm ready to go. This car has two accessory wires that will just connect into one. The touch and go system is meant to be used with the lock and unlock function on your doors, but this car has shaved doors, so it has door poppers instead. I pulled out all the old door popper wiring and I'm going to rewire it to be used as the touch and go key fob. I'm under the center console now. I've got all the touch and go wires hooked up. Now I'm just hooking up all the other components the customer has. The AC, he's got an air ride kit by AccuAir, and his power window switches. So to connect the last wire and install the console. So it's hooked up, we got accessory, ignition, off. Push on the brake and we can start her up. I just finished up the install, had a chance to play with the car, play with the starter, and I gotta say I'm impressed. It's a lot of fun. It was a really easy install. It was my first time ever installing one, one of these starter systems. Highly recommended.